<laughs> this thing so, is fire. So Gina Carano is now suing Lucasfilm and Disney, backed by Elon Musk, backed by Twitter X. And Elon Musk has subsequently retweeted this out and said, does anyone else want to join the lawsuit against Disney? <laughs> So this is pretty full on. Also, the timing of this, this is a day before yeah. the 20, uh, earnings call. 24 is, hours from when it, this was out in the world. Uh, yeah, it is. It is crazy. Absolutely crazy. So what's going on? I mean, as a bit of a background, of course, uh, you know, Lucasfilm, Disney fired Gina Carano. Um, but also publicly denigrated her uh, with essentially libelous statements, um, which they shouldn't have done because that's not okay. That's not okay anyway because it leaves you wide open for some lawsuits. Uh, and I, I was almost thinking this was never going to happen, actually. I was almost thinking this was never going to happen. And then lo and behold, this drops today just kind of out of nowhere, uh, literally out of nowhere. So what, what was said, she tweeted this. Uh, Today is an important day for me. I'm filing a lawsuit against Lucasfilm and Disney. After my 20 years of building a career from scratch and during the regime of former Disney CEO Bob Chapek, Lucasfilm made this statement on Twitter terminating me from The Mandalorian. Judah Carano is not currently employed by Lucasfilm and there are no plans for her to be in the future. Nevertheless, her social media posts denigrating people based on their cultural and religious identities are abhorrent and unacceptable. And that right there, that end part, is how they've left themselves wide open for a lawsuit. Because that never happened. Ever. Uh, nothing could be further from the truth. The truth is I was being hunted down from everything I posted to every post I liked because I was not in line with the acceptable narrative of the time. My words were consistently twisted to demonize and dehumanize me as an alt-right-wing extremist. It was a bullying smear campaign aimed at silencing, destroying, and making an, an example out of me. The thing is, I never I never even used aggressive language. I shared thought-provoking quotes, pictures, memes, and occasionally I used my own words, not with aggression, but with respect and the occasional comedy to keep the mood light in dark times. Look with your own eyes at what I posted and ask yourself, for example, where did I compare Republicans to the Jewish people in the Holocaust? I didn't. Ask yourself why they were calling me a racist. Was there any merit behind that or history of it whatsoever? No. Look at why I was called a transphobe for making droid noises from Star Wars. Beep, bop, boop was obviously directed to the online bullies and did not in any way denigrate transgender people. Were my questions about masks, lockdowns and forced vaccines okay to ask and push the subject into the light? Should we have been allowed to publicly discuss those topics at that time without being harassed or censored? Absolutely. Hollywood says they support female representation and equal rights. Why then were my male co-stars permitted to speak without harassment and re-education courses or termination, but I was not afforded the same right to exercise my freedom of speech? Artists do not sign away our rights as American citizens when we enter into employment. I've spoken to all my co-stars since I was fired and there is nothing but care and kind words between us. I respect their right to free speech and do not have to think the same on every issue to be their friends and work with them and I know they feel the same towards me. A couple of months ago, Elon Musk tweeted that if you had been fired from using the platform X for exercising your right to free speech, he would like to offer these people legal representation. Quite the noble offer. But never in my wildest dreams would I have thought anyone would take on my case against Lucasfilm and Disney. Still, I did respond back. I think I qualify and thousands of people agreed, but I did not expect anything. To my surprise, a few months ago, I received an email from a lawyer who had been hired by X to look into my story and many others. Turns out, after sending them as much information as I could gather these past few months, my now lawyers and X believe wholeheartedly in my case and are moving forward. I would like to express my deepest gratitude and thank you to Elon Musk and X for giving me an opportunity to bring my case to light. As for me, I would love to pick up where I left off and continue my journey of creating and participating in storytelling, which is my utmost passion and everything I worked so hard for. It has been difficult <laughs> to move forward with the lies and labels stuck on me, backed and encouraged by the most powerful entertainment company in the world. I'm grateful someone has come to my defense in such a powerful way and look forward to clearing my name. Thank you to all the people who have supported me and made your voices heard. I pray God blesses you uh, with love, Gina Carano, for inquiries, blah, blah, blah. 
Uh, holy shit, what happened? Uh, thoughts? <laughs> oh, I've got a few. Go on then. Take it away first. Well, this is going to, the, the timing of this is brilliant. Uh, Elon being spotted with Nelson Peltz and talking about buying companies. Also time. Per- this is all don't do, I, There's no such thing as a coincidence. No. Mm. This is all planned. This is bombs that were strategically planned to be dropped. Now shit's about to hit the fan. I'm sorry for the language, but this is going to get good kids. Pop your yeah. popcorn. Now you've got people coming in at all angles from Bob Iger right now at Bob Iger. He's got to be freaking the F out. Yep. He's mm. facing a huge lawsuit that look, okay. On the surface, it might look more like Gina has very little ground to stand on and Disney's probably going to walk away with us with a win. And she, th- that could very well be the case because yeah, they didn't have a contract. As far as they're concerned, they just didn't renew their contract. It's defamation of character, and they they just reset it. There's that. Yeah. There's the public smearing of her. Yeah. There's the individual Jermaine Lucier who claims that he had a Lucas. That's where the I think the quote comes from in there that a Lucasfilm representative said that she was fired or whatever. Uh, and then then the only statement they put out was the one that she posted there or whatever, but. That being said, what's going to screw them is that last part of that statement. The fact that they announced the show, the fact that they have publicly drug her through the mud, the fact that she hasn't been able to get any more jobs in Hollywood. And I can't wait, cannot wait until she stumps the emails because you know, Mm. she's got a fucking paper trail. And yeah, they may able to say like, look, we didn't have a contract. Sorry. That may be the case, but there's emails and stuff that I guarantee you there were talks, there's things going on. You have the fact that she was forcibly being put, going to be put through a struggle session to be able to keep her job, which she refused. So there's a lot that's going to go into this. This is going to get messy. Uh, I don't think that she's going to settle because this is not about the money for her. It's about, this is about sending a message as the Joker would say. Mm -hmm. Mm. Go on, coach. Give me your thoughts. No, I'm I'm look, no, Tom kind of got a chance to run through all of it. I look, this is absolutely defamation. Defamation took on a whole new meaning recently because of some precedents that were established here in the United States. She has a case on that alone. And she she can go after him for loss of work. She can go out, she can go after him for a whole lot of reasons. She she doesn't really need the money. Uh, I'm sure she would enjoy the money. And again, that's my perception. Maybe she thinks she needs the money. I well, don't that's know, why I don't but, think she'll settle out of court. This is not about she, money. She, yeah. it, well, and, and it's not, and here's the other thing. It's not her money. X and Elon are underwriting this particular suit. So, and this is not the only one, right? Because mm-hmm. we know somebody who's in our fellowship, who's a close friend that it went through, yeah. uh, went through the same thing at a, at a, at a gaming company, right? We have, we have other people that have kind of, you know, been out there that have gotten canceled in their jobs this opens it up and what this does is this also brings precedent and this particular problem to the forefront where corporations now are going to be having to watch their back and every in and everything and anything that they do associated with this you know die stuff right because it will come back and bite you in the butt because it's basically you know, corporate enforced uh, discrimination, especially if you don't have right think in a given area. This mm. is this is a bad thing. And and again, as Tom said, this was planned. This there is no way that this is this is happenstance. You're going into the end of the day. It, in fact, I think the trading day ends in just a few minutes if it hasn't already. Um, and you're what, going, what happened to Disney stock? Is it went up. Mean? It was going up. It was it was approaching a hundred dollars today before this dropped. What's mm. going to happen next? I don't know. Elon already said he's he's looking for companies to buy. He was there with friends pointing back, and I know we're going to get into that in a minute. But when you yeah. look at when you look at this happening, this just a, as an isolated event, it was strategically planned right before an earnings call. There's no no other way to read the tea leaves on this. This is why nice. this happened on this day. Well, it'll make for a, uh, yeah, I mean, look, my 
I, I share everyone's sentiments. So I'm going to be a bit of a cop out where, you know, as I'm voicing my opinion here, a um, mm. bit of a cop out where I just say, like, I, I share everyone else's uh, thoughts on all of this. Mm. I will say with respect to this on a, on a, on a you know, on a personal level, this, these sort of uh, witch hunts that people have um, sort of orchestrated against them using their online presence against them and, and this kind of nonsense is is absolutely insane. It's one of the reasons why I'm no longer doing my master's degree. If any of you guys have not tuned in to some of these uh, podcasts lately, you wouldn't know this, but I've you know forced out of my university for exactly the same reason um, or reasons anyway. This sort of witch hunt that's been you know put up against you, and that destroyed me. Like I was, I was absolutely, and, and still am. Like I'm, you know, it's very, very upsetting when these things occur. Um, but these kind of people use. It's, this obviously, you know, they, they've said things which can be used against them, so that's hilarious. Uh, and it's the same principle, it's the same principle in the UK. There, there were things which were said against me, which uh, actually break uh, the European Convention of Human Rights, they actually broke the law. Uh, and I, I myself am actually going through uh, the, the sort of beginnings of uh, laying the framework for litigation. Um, I'm hoping that it gets done outside of that sort of stuff, but. Side note, we may have to do a GoFundMe for that. So, oh, Streamlabs, please. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, like it, it's it's painful. It's not cool. But you can use their arguments. You can use the the rules that they set up against you, against you, against them. Uh, and this is what you know what what Disney has not had the foresight to uh, to think about. Look, I mean, at the end of the day, um, the the main take home outside of you know everyone else's kind of thing, which I'm saying, you know, I agree with. The main take home here, regardless whether you think there's any legal merit, regardless whether you think this is going to go anywhere or not, it actually doesn't matter. You know, it actually doesn't matter at all. Um, the hilarious part of it is this is immediately before uh, an investor call, a shareholder call, an earnings call. This is it's the earnings call, isn't it? This is where, yeah, it's going to get really, really sweaty under the collar for Bob Iger. Not fun for Bob it, Iger. It already this did. It's going to be hilarious to watch. It, it, it already did. And, you know, and, and again, we're going to get into some of these other elements, too, as we go in. But this is just one of the things that happened today in regards to Disney's earnings call. Mm. Lucasfilm is just insanely borked. I don't even begin to, I mean, we aren't talking about the fact that KK is personally involved in this. We have, if you go through the documents that were released and, and I'm getting updates constantly on, on the revelations that are in here, but mm. it is, it's, it's, it's bonkers. I can't believe it. I mean, even they, they obviously drunk three PO is in the legal document filing, uh, 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 bounding into comics at the time, uh, the chief, uh, editor over there, uh, John F. Trent, is in the documents. Spencer Bakuli from Bounding Into Comics is in the documents. Mm. Um, the There's all kinds of things that are in these documents. Leslie Headland is noted to be being part of, of, of trying to remove um, Gina Carano as our other people. So oh, I want to dig into that chick's past. I'll tell you what. Uh, this is this is I don't even think these people realize just the kind of exposure they've opened not only themselves up to, but to mm. Lucasfilm and the company in a broader sense. The legal yeah. the legal stuff is going to go on for years once this is decided because it doesn't stop stop here. It stop it starts with it stops with every single employee who felt uncomfortable at work because of the implementation of all of this political nonsense. In in, in yeah. it, causing a, a hostile work environment. Anyway, there's those are my final thoughts on it. I could go on forever, but we have other parts to talk about. So yeah, this this is yeah. big. This is very very big. Well, and there's a connection with this. Look, if, if she was just bringing this case on herself, it would. I, I hate saying like this. It would probably be, be barely be a blip on the earnings mm. call. It would barely be a blip on Disney's, yeah. you know, radar. Other than oh, just another thing we got to deal with. They're having Elon, yeah. with everything else. having Elon Musk involved with this tied in with the other stuff that we're probably going to get into makes this a big deal. And this is why I'm sure Bob and a few other people are sweating this right now. Oh, yeah. Cause this, yeah. as you just said, could expose a lot more than they want. And I love how you put it, Mr. H about turning their own rules 
and their own, you know, uh, means of, yeah. of othering others yeah. onto themselves. And that's what this is going to end up doing, I think. And again, like I said, Leslie Headland is somebody who definitely needs to be looked into. Um, for those who don't know, she was Hen- Harvey Weinstein's former assistant during years when we knows where the yeah this chick knows where the the bones are buried. Let's say, yeah. guaranteed yeah. it. Not only that, she probably facilitated the burying of a lot of those bones, or or even the she oh, facilitated maybe even some of the locations. Well, that's what I was getting at. My point is this, Elon, I know you may not be listening, but if you just happen to be ask, ask right now on Twitter, if any women can connect her with that stuff, because that will definitely help you with that. (laughs) Because I guarantee you there's a lot of skeletons in that closet. Yep. Well, look look at this. So it says uh, the suit. Oh, Jesus. I was getting on my mouse there. Sorry, guys. Not to Uh, mention, uh, before you get to what you're about to say, the last thing I wanted to say on this is she mentioned Kathleen Kennedy. Right, yep. so then mm. we know that she's well, going to be a part of this because after the South well, Park is, episode is, is when is Gina made her claims. Yeah, well, this is the complaint. So the suit. Oh my God, what is my mouse there hitting? Someone an absolute fit. Uh, the suit says fit. Disney required Carano, who paid twenty five, uh, who was paid twenty five grand per episode as a guest actor, and later negotiated a one time five grand bonus to meet with representatives of the Gay and Lesbian Alliance against discrimination and demanded a public apology. Defendants went. I'm not going to keep doing that. Anyway, <laughs> defendants went so far as to try and convince Carano's publicist to force <laughs> Carano to issue a statement admitting to mocking or insulting an entire group of people, which Carano had never done. That is absolutely true. She never, she never did. Um, after she refused, Carano was told to meet with Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy and 45 yeah. employees who identify as LGBTQ+. What other business, business has 45 people. employees who identify that, well, that's, as There's probably more. Uh, she declined and was terminated shortly after The Mandalorian, as well as other titles in the Star Wars universe, including Rangers of the New Republic. Of the Carano WWE. also alleges Disney engaged in a post-termination smear campaign, citing the abrupt removal of an episode of Running Wild with Bear Grylls. That is, that is true. Uh, in which she appeared from the show's scheduled lineup in an effort to malign her. Though the episode eventually aired, Disney allegedly omitted any uh, mention of her name and likeness in promotional materials. The suit faults Disney's termination of Carano as the impetus for UTA and her transactional lawyer dropping her as a client. Oh, shit. Carano brings claims for wrongful discharge and sex discrimination. So she'll probably win on Ooh. the sex discrimination stuff. Uh, she, seeks a court order. she seeks a court order that would force Lucasfilm to recast her and 75 grand plus punitive damages. So she's she's trying to get a job back as well. Hmm. Now, here's the thing where I see she can bring in the Sex Discrimination Act is because Pablo Hidalgo posted almost yep. identical fucking tweets. Yep. Mm. And nothing happened to him. Yeah. She did it. <clears throat> and this is where I think and this is the thing where we've said before, yeah. You know, Kathleen Kennedy's about all strong, independent women until it came to a strong, independent woman. Yeah. Well, there you go. I mean, she wants a job back. Maybe she wants a job back so she can just quit. And Paul, I think, made a good point in the chat. I think the timing also of this is not coincidence with the uh, Mandalorian announcement. Nope. John Mm. Favreau. Because he stayed quiet on all this. He had big plans for this character. He is, I guarantee you the reason she has not been recast by another person yeah because they could have kept the show going they could have just brought in somebody else to play her role oh that would this be fascinating to watch this will be utterly fascinating to watch this play out i I mean pablo pascal would i say pablo hidalgo i'm sorry yeah well yeah but they're equally yeah both of them are just as bad but yeah yeah well, there you go, ladies and gents. We will, um, we'll, 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 we'll keep you uh, informed on this during the uh, the coming months, coming years, probably as it will pan out now. 